Yellow Rose Gang, it's your girl right back with another video. Look at my people, they motivate me. I'm out of state, ain't seen y'all lately. Nobody used to see y'all daily. Put yeah. in that work, we can ball later. Can Put ball. in that work like an all stater. Yeah. I'm in the stool, I'ma call later. I'm call. Never see them, man, I miss my dogs. Mama call, never miss her calls. Mama nah. call. What's good, gang? Y'all already know what it is, and y'all already know what it do. Right back with another video for you guys today, and today is Confessions Friday, y'all. So what that means is basically I have selected random people's um, confessions off of mine, and I'm going to be basically responding to them, giving them advice. Or just saying, you know, talking my shit or whatever. You feel me? All at the same time, all together. So, if you're new, thank you for coming through. I appreciate you. Please make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell right next to that. If you're coming back, thank you, gang. I appreciate you. We finna eat good, y'all. So, today, y'all, I got me some tacos. It's a specific kind of taco. And I've ate these tacos on live before. They are actually um, Barrero tacos, the tacos I keep telling y'all about, whatever. So, you get to see them up and close and personal today, y'all. So, these are the Barrero tacos here. I got me a side of rice, a side of beans with cheese. I may not eat these today. It depends. I don't know. But usually, I don't eat them. Then, I got me a side of Barrero soup. I hope I'm saying this right over or whatever but barrera or bira one of them it's like shredded beef it's so good y'all i got me some green salsa here red salsa which is kind of hot i got lamb cilantro and sour cream right here and i got some good confessions for us today as well i got me some um cran apple juice right here because i don't know if it's gonna fit on my later whatever well i want y'all to be able to see the tacos so yeah that's just gonna stay right though okay so y'all i'm gonna get into my food first i'm gonna show y'all how the tacos look though all right i'm gone girl so these are the tacos y'all they come with onions and cilantro on them already so technically i don't even need that um right now anyway so, I'm going to show y'all the tacos. This is how they look. So good. Yes, baby, yes. Yes, baby, yes. It's going to be so fire. This is my first time having fried Barrera tacos, y'all. So, I'm pretty excited. I need my, my spoon in. Okay, I got my spoon right here. my God. So, let me go ahead and open up the rice. This is how the rice look. That's how the rice look, y'all. Just plain, decent, you know, rice. And then I got to open up the soup because this one I'm going to dip my taco in when it's all good and ready. Mm -hmm. And I can't really show y'all how the soup look, but I'm going to try. This is how it look, y'all. Yes, and it has meat in it. Y'all seen me eat these on last before, okay, y'all? I'm going to take a few bites of my food, and I'm going to go ahead and get into these juicy confessions. If y'all ever have some confessions that y'all want to submit, go ahead and submit them. And if you don't mind me knowing who you are, I won't tell nobody who you is, of course, because you're supposed to be anonymous. But go ahead and hit the, um, you feel me? Go ahead and hit the, um, inbox on IG. Take my love forever. Y'all should be following me anyway if you subscribe to my channel. Uh, what else I want to have now? Some green salsa. Green salsa, y'all. I like the green salsa. Be good. I ain't got no hot sauce or none. I'm going to have to tell. Baby, bring me some hot sauce, baby. I need some hot sauce. <laughs> but yeah. So we're going to go ahead and get into this. Let me quit talking. I'm talking about it, y'all. Hang on. A lot of people be like, man, your videos be long. Bro, these videos do not be long compared to a lot of people's videos. I feel like 
Yes, look at that taco, y'all. Y'all could definitely get the first bite. There y'all go. Then I'm gonna, wait, I, I'ma dip it in the sauce. Look at that. Look at that, y'all. I'm trying not to get it too drippy. How to drip on. Mmm. 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 Make it one. Mmm. Yeah. This a hit. Period. For real tacos. I got these from La Familia on 6th Avenue here in Des Moines. Mmm. That's what I should have put on there. I should have put some beans, y'all. Mmm. So good. I'm going to go ahead and get into this confession, though, y'all. <clears throat> I got them picked out already, so we all good. Mmm. That taco so good. Mmm. Y'all. Look, let me give y'all the last bite. There you go. I wouldn't be surprised if that fell in my juice. Mm. I ain't give me no napkin for months. I don't even need no hot sauce. Let me drink my drink. I'm going to read the first confession, y'all. <laughs> Mm. Okay. Okay. So these confessions I'm gonna be talk um these confessions that I'm gonna be responding to are just in the other category. So they're not like a relationship LBTT. They don't have a like main category. They can be anywhere. So, okay. So the first one, y'all, his confession is, I give married woman money in exchange for wild sex in Miami. They married, huh? You just gonna go on, you don't even care, huh? You just, ooh, okay. So, dude say he fly women out in Miami, rent a suit in a hotel for the weekend and have nothing but room service and sticks in the return. I give them $2,000. I get off on the fact a woman will cheat on her husband for money. Been doing it since December 2017. Woo! I knew it was something to it. I'm like, this man had to be getting off by trying to get with other people's women like what y'all know it's people like that in real life that actually be like freaking happy to know that they can ruin a marriage that's why they say when people people be really um be saying they want you they don't be really wanting you they be wanting you to mess up with what you get and then after you do that they don't want you so yeah, y'all gotta be cautious out here. This um, this mess that's going on. Like no, that's not okay. Quit messing with people's married husbands and wives and stuff. You know what I mean? Like you know they ain't in a relationship. Leave them people alone. Why you why you messing with them people for? <laughs> that's crazy. Y'all know that be happening in relationships too. You ain't even gotta be married. Like. Like a person could come in and and know you in a relationship, talk all this sweet, nice stuff to you, sweet talking and all that. And then once they do that, once they get you, once they get you out that relationship that you already been in, you feel me? And they get you to their sales, they ain't gonna want you no more. You gone, you done, it's over, okay? Mm. That's how I feel anyway. 
What y'all think? Comment down in the comments what y'all think. Because, babe, this ain't right. <laughs> you ain't right, you wrong, baby. You need to stop. You need to retire. You need to retire. Something ain't right. Y'all, yeah, I don't be liking these radish things that be up in the, the radishes. I don't be liking them. Mm -mm, they were too crunchy and hard and all that stuff. Mm -mm. Uh, that juice, though? That juice, though, y'all? Mmm. 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 They come on. Mmm. Ah. <laughs> Alright, I was gonna go to the next confession. Uh, I broke up a friendship and she says, I broke a friendship and she doesn't know it yet. Ow. What you do, girl? Let me see. Let me find up. So she said, My friend found out she was pregnant. But before she found out, I told her I was having sex with someone who was attempting to impregnate me. Hmm? She had told me she was she would cut me off if I was pregnant when she was. I believe I'm pregnant and I can't tell her. She's my only friend and I have nowhere to turn to when it comes to my feelings about keeping it or not. Girl, tell the girl. Like, what? Like, okay, maybe y'all was just saying that just be saying it, but if you really think you pregnant, doing the time your best friend pregnant, then hey, hey, stuff happens. You got pregnant at the same time she got pregnant, what? Y'all better plan the, uh, the baby shower together. So Y'all better think she your friend. Hey, what she gonna be mad for? What she gonna be mad for? Not, it, and it's not that like, oh, you got pregnant, so I got pregnant. No, you got pregnant, and you ain't even know you got pregnant. You feel me? So you ain't, it ain't like you did it on purpose, you feel me? So I feel like you should just tell her, see what she's saying, and she don't want to be your friend no more than ever. She was never your friend, period. Okay? That's what I got to say. Period. Oh. These talk are so bomb, y'all. I don't even know what to do with myself. I'm going to give y'all a good bite of these. This one. I'm going to actually put some beans on this one this time. Ooh. And then we're going to sit that rice right there. I don't use no more of that. Let me go and open up these bangs. Oh, that's the beans with the uh, Mexican cheese on there. That cheese hard, too. I don't really be really usually liking beans like that on my stuff. But I'm going to do it for y'all, though. I'm going to do it for y'all. I usually just eat the beans with the uh, chips. But I don't my taco. Over I usually don't like it. But we're going to see how these taste. I ain't never tasted these beans on this specific taco before, so... Hey, I'm trying things, okay? We trying things today. Even though I'm supposed to be reading these confessions, you feel me? I'm trying to dress up this taco, though. Ooh, make it a mess, y'all. Ooh, make it a mess. All right. So, look. Boop. Taco. So messy. It's so messy, y'all. I think I'm full already, low-key. Look. Ooh. Oh, y'all wish I could hold it up there for y'all with the juice on there, but I can't. I'm going to hold it right here, and I might zoom, zoom it in, zoom it in, you know, okay? Mmm. 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 Come on. Mmm. Mm. <laughs> All right, y'all. Let's get to the next confession. Um, dude say, uh, 
Okay. Finna go to prison. Yay. I ain't never heard nobody happy to go to prison. I mean, I know it's people that's like secretly like prison, low key, because it's a safe place, safe place to stay. You get some food, you get the shower, you get to do all that stuff. You know, but who what? <laughs> so he said. So, I'm on five years of extension probation. Bro, you already on extension and you still effing up? That's crazy. Due to getting caught with drugs. So, recently, I got dressed. So, I've been drinking pop bars. So, I've been drinking, popping bars. I've been smoking for three days straight. Like, I'm going through 20 grams a day. Damn. 20, 20 a day, my lord. Man. 20 grams a day. I'm also on MELF right now. Oh, Lord, you on MELF? And I took six tabs of acid yesterday, so I'm fucked up. You took six grams of acid? Really? Y'all be out here doing hard, hard core drugs. That's crazy. Um, I'm looking at 10 years in prison if I mess up. And because I'm on probation, I ran before, so this is my second chance, and I effed up. I'm a failure at life, but I'll smoke to that left of my effing F ass off. No, I think it's just weird to find it just funny. Or, like, I think that maybe you're really sad at the end of the day because 10 years is a long time to be in prison, 10 years is a long time to be not have your freedom 10 years is a long time to waste that's a lot of time to waste like i really think you feel sad so i'm pretty um sure you said but if you already knew that you was gonna be in trouble or go back to jail for 10 years if you effed up i wouldn't even have thought like i don't understand like, y'all get chances after chances after chances after chances after chances and still F up. Why? Like, I'm I'm convinced they like being in jail. Like, what's on that shit? Convinced. I'm convinced, okay? I don't like being in there. Let me take one more by y'all. I'm full. I'm going to read one more confession, too. Mm. So, she said, I feel degraded. That's the title. <clears throat> Y'all. It say, I got blacked out drunk on Saturday at a party. And I fell face first in front of everybody on my face. Damn. That sound embarrassing. I would be embarrassed. I would be like, I feel embarrassed, my nigga. <laughs> she said, nobody picked me up. My cousin later on noticed and took me inside. That's crazy. Well, your cousin that whole time, though, if you drunk. If you that drunk. And why you get that drunk if... You weren't really with nobody but your cousin. Like, y'all need to know, learn how to handle y'all lick outside of the home. For real. Before you go anywhere or with anybody. You need to know how to maintain your alcohol. My cousin later on noticed and took me inside. I have gotten blacked out drunk before. But I always had someone take care of me. Well, baby, you ain't gonna always have nobody to take care of you when you get drunk and sloppy. That's not nobody else's responsibility but your own. 
Now that's you, and, and that's you depending on somebody else to take care of your responsibility and that, no, 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 not okay. Um, I can't believe my own cousin didn't even help me before I fell on my face. They helped me after. Girl, I would let your ass fall on your face too. Just from the way you sounding right now, because you just feel like somebody just supposed to be there because they know you finna be get drunk. They just know they just supposed to be your your life savior during that time. No, boy, like you should have got that drunk. <laughs> your your cousin probably was irritated with your ass at that moment in time, cause you know. We out trying to have fun. If we out trying to have fun, ain't nobody sloppy drunk, whatever, unless you with your significant other and that's what y'all do, then that's what y'all do. But I, I guess if you was with your cousin, that's what y'all do and that's what y'all did. Hey, you feel me? And I guess your cousin just left you hanging that night. She went with the shit. I guess. I don't know. Um, I have no reconciliation of this but i feel so ashamed of myself and degraded i would too i don't even want to drink anymore anymore because i'm so embarrassed of myself and don't even want to show my face girl i, I was just staying in the house don't even go out no more don't even drink no more i don't even want nothing to do nothing none of that that's uh, that's going on at all so it says I am so scared that someone took pictures of me and posted them and if they are all over the internet that why i don't go on Snapchat or Instagram. Um, it's my own fault to not be able to handle my own liquor. I know. Exactly. You said it yourself then. What's the problem then? And then you tell about some. That's why I don't post on Snapchat or Instagram. And that's your fault if somebody else took pictures of you and posted them on the internet. Period. And, it, and before you was even drinking, you should have even thought that that could be a risk that you could take. Like, you could have got in some random person's car. You could have got beat up and didn't know it. You could have got beat, dragged, slapped, killed. Somewhere, somewhere, nobody ain't know. Okay? So, you got to be thinking about all that when you're going out drunk like that. Like, no, no. I ain't never did it. I don't never plan on doing it. I ain't got time for that. <laughs> but yeah, y'all. So that was the third segment of the confessions. If you guys would prefer your confessions to be on here, you go ahead and inbox me at Take My Love Forever, which is on my About Me section. You go ahead, click the link, and it'll take you right to my Instagram. Follow me, send me a message. I'll keep you anonymous if you want to remain anonymous. If not, we can get this thing cracking away. <laughs> but if you guys enjoyed this confessions video please make sure to thumbs it up comment down below share me out get lit gang gang and i'm out this thing y'all do see it's a cause my heart trying to hit my songs if i can trouble got me and all my brother going through with